how this instant gratification monkey is there in our head and how there is a rational brain in our head and how this rational brain and instant gratification monkey fight with each other, debate with each other. If you see all these three presenters, they have used slides very less. I mean, not, I guess, they were not distracting. Hardly they have used the slides, but their communication, their humor, their storytelling, their metaphor, their body language, you know, the passion for the topic. It was infectious. And that and her strong point, I felt like she was using her hand gestures and her body language very effectively. If you have seen my video, how to use uh, hand gestures and body language, just she has done it perfectly right. She has nailed it. So this brings us to the last part of our video series. This is the 10th video. And if you haven't seen my previous nine videos, I think you are missing a boat. So first of all, watch those nine videos and then come to this video. In this video, as I promised, I'm going to talk about top three TED Talks. What I feel is their top three TED Talks. How these top, I mean, these top presenters deliver their presentation. So let us move ahead and let us see the first one. And in the sense, we are going in the reverse way, the last one. Number three, Marina Pascal. Her video is there. And the title of the video is about how to learn a language as if you are learning a computer games. So this is about, the topic is very famous. I mean, everyone wants to uh, speak fluently and confidently. Now what she has done is, as I said before that, every presenter, good presenter uses storytelling and she has done exceedingly well, exceedingly well. For example, story of Faisal. She has told how Faisal is calm and composed, even though his English is not good, how he can communicate. Then she has told her daughter's story about piano how her daughter hates piano. So we can connect with the stories. She told the story of barbecue and the hot dogs to tell us that how language, English language is uh, looked upon, how, uh, you know, it's a language of the world now. It's not only of the native speakers, but it is a language of the world. The world speaks this language. She has even told the story of uh, pharmacy how she went into a pharmacy and how one person, one um, sales representative, how she reacted, how another sales, re uh, sales representative reacted. So it's a very different way of explaining the point which she wants to drive home. Now, the next is, she has used some good metaphors. I told you, metaphors is like comparing something with something which the audience knows. If you want to explain something, you have to compare that thing with something else which the audience already knows. Like she, she gave example of or the metaphor of piano and English. She wanted to just explain how piano is about mastering, but English is not about that. Definitely, I hope you will watch the video and you will understand what exactly I mean to say. She gave example of video games. So in video games, those boys who are playing video games in the parlor, video parlor, video games they they were not focusing on uh, accuracy they were just enjoying the games so very nicely explained and her strong point i felt like she was using her hand gestures and her body language very effectively if you have seen my video how to use uh, hand gestures and body language just she has done it perfectly right she has nailed it now this takes us to the next slide and that is tim urban one of my favorite uh, video the reason is this guy and the topic is procrastination. Who doesn't do that? I mean, everyone. Personal story he has told about. He has told about his submission when he was studying and how he was delaying the submission, the journal. The story of 90 page thesis, very nicely told. And it, it, it just got connected. It, it, it just you know, was instantly a hit with the audience. And you can see in the video that the audience claps. A lot of clapping is there. He used metaphors of instant gratification monkey. So he is telling like how this instant gratification monkey is there in our head and how there is a rational brain in our head and how this rational brain and instant gratification monkey fight with each other, debate with each other. Giving a metaphor is very powerful technique if you want to convey a point. 
So next time, when you are giving your presentation, have a nice metaphor. Now, humor. He has used humor amazingly. Now, like he has given his that thesis which he was about to submit. If you see that video, if they see that clip, he submits that thesis, but he just prepares for that thesis three days before and he submits it at the 11th hour and there is a call from the school, from the college and they say that this is the best thesis they have ever seen and he pauses and then he says no, that did not happen <laughs> it was the worst one, it was not good so with, with this delivery, with this way of communicating, telling his personal stories he just connects with the audience and there is a rapturous laughter there. Just observe these people very carefully how they have done it. He has some really nice slides which are very simple, very engaging like this one. Now he just wants to, wants to tell that there is an instant gratification monkey in the head and the rational decision maker. That's all. With these simple slides he was able to communicate with the audience very effectively. So. If you see all these three presenters, they have used slides very less. I mean, not, I guess, they were not distracting. Hardly they have used the slides, but their communication, their humor, their storytelling, their metaphor, their body language, you know, the passion for the topic. It was infectious. And that was the decisive point. It was not the slides, but it was that presentation skill that played a very vital role. Now, the first one is Ken Robinson. Now, it's very difficult to understand his accent. Definitely switch on the subtitles when you see his video. But again, storytelling is there and he has used a lot of stories. Personal story of a party when he goes to a party and how educators are looked down upon as if they are very boring. And a uh, story of, uh, uh, I exactly don't know the pronunciation, maybe it's uh, uh, Julian Lean. Uh, she, she is a very famous dancer. And how um, uh, our education system never supports creativity. How our education system never allows you to fail. And he has explained this with the help of this lady who is very famous for her dance academy. She, she was a dancer, but the school did not recognize that because our schools just think about marks and grades and creativity is not at all allowed. So the topic was really close to everyone's heart because everyone goes to school. Humor was that. I mean, he has cracked so much of jokes. Understand, humor connects. Of course, when you are giving a business presentation, humor is not going to help you. But humor works and he has given many of his personal insights and personal incidences with his wife he has told many of the incidents he has told which are very humorous and which connects with the audience guys so these are three top ted videos which is your favorite which is your favorite come on write in the comments i want to know that write your favorite videos and why they are favorite okay so guys this uh, comes to an end of this presentation series. Uh, I tried to give my best, hope you liked it and uh, it was my small effort to make you a better presenter. Now, I'm not saying that I'm an expert in that but I'm not a rookie as well. Uh, after so many years of presentations I know how to connect with the audience but one thing I'll tell you before ending this talk. Right now I'm speaking in front of the camera. So camera is not a live audience. But when I see those live audience, I really get charged and the best out of me comes. So this thing I wanted to just tell you that, okay, right now I'm talking with the camera, but when the audience is there, it's a blast. I just rock there. So it was nice talking to you. Keep on working on your presentation and your communication and your mental skills. Bye-bye. Thank you.